Good work, team. We've done a great job, but this is no time to rest on our laurels. Darn! What is our next move? These dangerous situations are getting out of hand. It's time for us to strike at the heart of the problem. Magneto? Exactly. Beast, have you come up with a way for us to get to Asteroid M? No. But I shall double my efforts in attempting to devise a solution to the conundrum. Perfect. Gene, have you come up with a way to release Professor X from the Astral Plane? Not yet, but now that Psylocke's here, we're working on a plan. All right, people. Every second counts now, and the world hangs in the balance. Let's make Professor X proud. Magma, what a pleasure it is to see you. Earlier, you mentioned the astral plane was an upheaval. What did you mean? It's as if a vast amount of energy is being used to reshape the landscape of the astral plane. Why would that be happening? I don't know, dear, but the odd thing is, it feels as if Charles were the one causing the change. Why would Professor Xavier change the astral plane? Maybe it's his way of showing us where he is. Whatever it is, we'll have to make our move very soon, or Charles will be lost to us forever. I'll let you get back to work, Emma. Thank you, dear. Hello, Allison. Have you had any luck coming up with a plan to save Professor Xavier? We're still using Cerebro to study the situation. I heard that the entity holding the Professor prisoner is really powerful. He is. More than any of us would have expected. But the X-Men will be able to defeat it, right? I certainly hope so. But it won't be easy. Why do you say that? Professor Xavier is the most powerful telepath known to mutant kind. Anyone that can so easily trap him is a force to be reckoned with. See you later, Jean. Bye, Allison. Hello, Allison. Hi, Beast. Allison, I need your input on a critical experiment. You need me? What kind of experiment? I've done a thorough analysis of the shielding around Asteroid M and determined that there are gaps that the X-Jet could fit through. Okay, so let's go. It's not that easy, Allison. You see, the gaps are extremely small, and when combined with the asteroids around the base, the path is far too intricate for any pilot to navigate. Is there any way to put the X-Jet on autopilot so it can get through the gaps? A brilliant supposition, Allison. It just so happens that during the Sentinel attack on the X-Mansion, our computers were able to scan the robot's programming. So if we could add Sentinel technology to the X-Jet... We would be able to reach Asteroid M safely. Sounds like it's time to call a meeting in the War Room. You're beginning to sound like a true X-Man, Allison. Congratulations. Bye, Beast. Until we meet again, Allison. Hello, young lady. Who are you? Allison Crestmere. My code name is Magma.
According to Jean Grey, you've got a bizarre past. I suppose it is a bit unorthodox. Years ago, an enemy of the X-Men switched my body with that of a Japanese assassin. The assassin died while in possession of my original body, so now I'm trapped in this one. How terrible. I was angry at first, but I've learned to accept and even love what I am. I kept my original mutant powers and gained the assassin's incredible martial arts skills. Uh, aren't you afraid of battling Shadow King on the astral plane? Jean and Miss Frost seem to be. Jean and Emma are not trained killers. I fear nothing but failure. It was nice to meet you, Psylocke. 